Hey, and welcome back to the MyGrow YouTube channel. My name is Shane, founder of MyGrow. Got a really good test today. We've got a brand new light in. It's called, uh, it's by a company called GN UK. I think it used to be Grow Northern or something of that like. And their model is the Telos 0006 version 1.1. It's a panel LED light. So it's got lots of small LEDs uh, and three panels which are joined together. In the panels you've got a mixture of white LEDs and red LEDs and um, giving an overall color temperature of about uh, 3200 uh, color temperature. That's a warm white overall. Suitable therefore for growing all the way from seed to flower, so nice spectrum. The three panels as I said are bolted together and on the back is a very chunky heatsink. This is a heavy unit um, and it's got a big heavy um, thin heatsink on the back. And then the mean well, it's a HLG driver, uh, is then mounted onto the top there. And you got cabling connecting them up and your mains power cable just plugs straight in. You also get your hanger bits and pieces, comes very nicely packaged. And you get a really nice little manual, which has lots of good detail in it. Um, lots of setup detail, very nicely done. Doesn't have the power map on it, so we're going to show the power map. It's specified for a number of different grow areas, so different light intensities at different grow areas. And chosen to put it in the 2x2 two two grow area, which it does specify it's suitable for. And as usual, we have put the silver mylar walls around. In this instance, amazingly, they have a recommended hanging height, which is very nice and welcome. It's not usual. Um, and it was accurate too, which was great. So hung it at 40 centimeters over the sensor, and that gave us our 1000 power reading in the dead center. And we took the usual, we used our Apogee SQ500 sensor, to take 16 PPFD measurements, that's power intensity at a point. We measured it evenly across the grid over the two by two, added them all up, and we were able to calculate the total power output. The wattage consumed for the unit is 185 watts, and we divide the total power output by the wattage to get the efficiency. So how did it do? Well, 185 watts consumed, as I said, and 307 um, micromoles PPFD output was recorded on the 2x2. Two two. And when you divide one by the other, you get an answer, uh, a result of 1.66 micromoles per joule. Reasonably high efficiency. And uh, just looking at the board, we are right there with the next light mega. Uh, Mars Hydro Cob, uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice efficient fixture. Not right up there with the best, a little bit short, but uh, yeah, good enough. So we will be doing the update on the board fairly soon. I know I've been promising, but I will get it done. Uh, it's just a few more lights to go on the testing and. Uh, yeah, we'll do the uh, the 2019 update for the uh, Best Grow Light 2019. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Any comments or suggestions, please let me know. Take care. Bye.